Hi, it's Peter Serafinowicz and I'm playing uh, this game, Dark Souls 2. It's, and it, you know, it's sort of slowly dawned on me that, all right, this is the best game I've ever played. It's unbelievable. And I remember thinking as well, like, two of my favorite games are uh, Zelda, particularly The Wind Waker. I love all the Zelda games. And um, uh, Resident Evil. And it's, to me, that's what Dark Souls is a kind of mixture of, in a sort of way. Or rather, it combines the elements from Dark Souls, uh, from Resident Evil and Zelda that I, that I really love, you know? I, I, I suppose <coughs> it's, it, it, it's a bit like Zelda in Hell, which I guess like Resident Evil kind of takes place in a sort of a sort of hell. It's a sort of comedy hell, really, but uh, gee, the earlier games were pretty scary. There's like an item that's called rubbish, and you pick it up and it's like, it's rubbish. And then the description says, this is surely of no use to anyone. It's some rubbish. <laughs> but you carry it around, and then later on you realise you can actually swap it for something quite, uh, quite useful. There are certain things, that, there's a sort of freedom to the world, but there are certain places that you can't go until you do certain things. And, you know, while that's true of a lot of games, many games approach it with a sort of, in a sort of linear way. Can I just, <laughs> I just want to, um, I just want to tell you something uh, that I've just remembered. It's a weird thing about this, for me, personally, is that I do I play a character in this game who doesn't appear like until later on from where I am. But I also provided the um, exertion noises for the main uh, for the main male character. So look, I'm gonna let myself be hit with an arrow. Oh, I didn't say anything then. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> and that's very weird. When I the first time I played it I was like <laughs> Uh, uh. I was like, oh my god, it's actually me. And when, when it says you died, it's like, I died. I hear myself go... Uh. Um, now anyway, look, back to this game, right? Because um, I'm just sort of wandering around. Now this dude here, he's a bit weird because unlike most people in Dark Souls, he doesn't react when you walk near him. I can target him so he's recognized as an enemy. But he's just sitting there. I can also do this thing. Oh, hang on. It won't even let me talk to him. So it's like, who's this guy? All right, well, let's find out, shall we? All right, so I haven't got a sword. I haven't got a shield, I mean. So let's two-hand this because he looks pretty... Tasty. Oh, hello. Right. Now, I love this guy. He's actually... This dude is called... The, uh... He's called a Heidi Knight. And, uh... He's got this sort of lopsided... Gait. He's sort of almost... He's kind of hunched over. And he's got a sort of bucket helmet. <laughs> And he almost looks a bit sort of, he looks a bit drunk. He's a bit like a, he's a bit like a guy in a, in a pub who's just been sitting there all afternoon, slumped over. And then you look at him and then he gets up and starts to fight you. Um, oops. Uh, he's a bit, he's a bit like that. Um, oh, hang on. Come on, come on, come on. Now, he hit me there and I haven't got very good poise armor on. Uh, now, and this is another thing with Dark Souls, is part of the reason that it's so satisfying to play is that, uh, is that like handling the weapons feels quite realistic and your character reacts, the, the, the physics of it, it, it kind of reacts quite, oh, there we go, quite realistically. Um, there's a there's a there's a, a stat poise which it took me a while to figure out what it was but it's basically like stability 
when you uh, it it, 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 um, it it defines how much you like if somebody hits you with a sword it defines how much you kind of stagger back or how much somebody can upset your balance there we go all right ah! <laughs> <laughs> you died. I think that should say you fucker, because that's what you always think. And check out my dude now. So he's now uh, he's now gone hollow, um, and he's not looking very well. The more, but the the, the thing is, with, with in in normal in the first Dark Souls, your character would kind of stay at a sort of default, static, zombified state. But in this, each time you die, you start looking worse and worse. And that, that's one of the new cool things about it. Like your hair starts falling out and... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Look. There we go. Look. Backstab. Ooh, nice. When I heard Dark Souls 2 was coming out, uh, I mean, I think, you know, what people, what people wanted was not like a, a radical redesign of the game. They wanted Dark Souls 2. They wanted the, they wanted the same Dark Souls, but like a, a different world, you know? And uh, like, a, like a continuation, but you know, and that's really what's happened. Although, you know, there are things that have been refined and changed and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it just all looked really incredibly exciting. Um, and, and I thought, you know, I'd love to be involved with it somehow, and I got in touch with I got in touch with uh, Namco on Twitter, and, and originally I said I said uh, Can I get a Dark Souls poster for my office? Uh, and they said yeah, and I got one. It was signed by like one of the dudes from From Software, and I just thought, oh great, I got it framed. It's up in my office and. And then I was like, you know what? Um, you know you have voice acting in Dark Souls. You know I do that. And you know I, I'd, love to, I'd love to be a voice in the game. And, and uh, so I, I essentially sort of bullied my way into it, really. I just thought, you know, and part of me was, I was a little bit, um, I was slightly reticent about it because I thought, I don't want to be, like, inside the game. I don't want to... I don't want to. It's. It, it, I, I don't want to kill the golden goose. You know. I still. I want to be able to. Uh, oh, right. I'm just going to enter that mist there. But uh, there's, there's a lot of sleepers in this game. There's a lot of dudes just sort of pretending to be dead. But they're uh, they're actually alive. Don't know if you can see. Look, I'm looking a bit uh, a bit more worse for wear there. But like these characters have a few different stages and they really start to look they really start to look ropey um, but yeah so I, I didn't want to ruin it for myself and also I didn't want to ruin it for other people I didn't want to I didn't want to like um, I didn't want to like do a do a voice in this game and like for people to say you know Dark Souls 2 is amazing but oh my god Peter Serafinowicz doing that awful voice <laughs> in it. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing I, I hate about the game. And, you know, so there's that sort of pressure as well. Uh, because I, you know, because I care so much about the game, I, I would have just been uh, mortified had I uh, ruined it. But, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, maybe a... Shit. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Died. Oh look, I love this. Now you can speed climb <laughs> up ladders, which has a sort of pleasing Benny Hillness to it. Uh, especially if it's a long ladder and you're just escaping from somebody, and then and then <laughs> and then things are chasing you. Uh, it's uh, oh god, there's there's somebody there, but I'm gonna go on open. Uh, Right, uh, here's a little bonnie. Wicked. 
Bonfire lit. Rest at bonfire. Oh, cannot use. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, Dark Souls. 